pike, what a pike. Ah, oh, that's a belter. Oh, how did he catch it? Oh, beautiful. On a dead bait, obviously. Oh, hi guys. Welcome back to the channel. I do like a good book, mate. <laughs> Gets the old juices flowing. Oh, look at that. Who knows how to catch him, that lad, I'll tell you. So, it's the uh, the night before I'm due to fish men teeth. So, thought I'd get myself into a good book. Bit of inspiration. I'm stopping at a, a campsite, as you can see. I'm in camper van. Nice and toasty warm. Just about to make myself a curry for tea. So, I'll be up early in the morning. Uh, straight down to Menteith. It's only about, it's about a 10 minute drive away from here. So it's spot on. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'll be able to bring some pike to the channel for you to watch. So, sit back, make your centre brew, put down that book. Because there's going to be some action, hopefully. <laughs> so I'll see you there. I'll see you in the morning. Right, we're fishing. So I'm just on outside of a point. You can hear clicker on reel the drag. So I've got it set tight to the float. So I'm watching two floats. It's uh, it's been a, it's been a struggle sorting boat out on my own. I've done it before, so I'm used to it. But the the front anchor rope were all tangled. I know we're drifting and I, oh, right, carry on. But anyway, I've got it sorted. So, in on this rod, and I've pumped them up with a bit of that stuff, a bit of the one tone tackle stuff. I know it's not for everybody. People might think, oh, it's a gimmick and all of that lot, but in my head, I think that that leaves a scent trail. And I can understand if people are like, uh, there's no science behind it and all that lot, but it's up to individual, isn't it? So I like to use it. What I'll do is I'll probably, if I'm getting into a few, I'll use one without and we'll see what happens, eh? <clears throat> but I've got both rods fishing now. There you go. So you can see right hand float there, left hand float there. few boats around me, there's a guy just to my left, I think he's had one and lost one and uh, it's not that far from me so it's looking good for a bite or two hopefully, fingers crossed but we'll see it's nice just to get settled <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> nice just to get settled so let's see if we get into all while while you're at it see that little subscribe button down there just go down there and smash hell out of it <laughs> tell all your mates so sit back get a brew enjoy hopefully i'll have some fish to bring you I'll bring it into the boat too soon. Come on. Just gotta be careful. 
careful at anchor rope. Might not be right big, I don't know. No, it's not that big. It's a pike though. There it is. Get in. Don't know if that other rod's gone. No. Right, let's deal with this one. There we go. It's not a Menteith monster, but it's a pike and it'll do me. See you soon here, aren't you? Hey, let's get a look out. There we go. Look how green that is. Oh, <laughs> you beauty. Hey, nice. There it goes. Bit of blood, but that's off me. Right, get in there. Let's get another bait on, get sorted, get back in again. Whoa. Come on, up you come. Go for that anchor rope. That's a better fish. Why, oh, yeah. Right. Are you ready for the next? A nice fish. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See if I can unlock you, internet. That's a stroke of luck. It's a nice fish that. Right. On Predator Pursuit's terminal tackle trace. <laughs> Come here, kid. Just want to have a look at you. I'm not going to bother weighing you, but you're a double, I'm sure of it. Lovely fish that. Just want to have a look at you. Right, here we go. No, don't like that. Get 
get in there. About that. <laughs> Absolute beauty. What a cracking pike that is. Look at that. Right, kid. Let him revive her, so let her revive herself and then we'll let her go. Cracking fish. Yeah, she's ready. She's ready. That wasn't a bad fish, was it? That one. <laughs> I'm happy with that. I got lucky with hook hold and all, just as it went in at net, the hooks went in at net. So I could just hook it onto or the thing for oars and uh, just leap fishing water in net and just unhook it off at net. Job were a good one. They're a bonny fish in here, I tell you. Big Scottish pike, you can't beat them, can you? But what what's happening is because because I'm on boat on my own, I'm sort of the the boat keeps sort of swinging a little bit on anchors. I ain't got them quite right, but I can live with it. But what's happening is every now and again it's swinging round and it's pulling float, and I keep thinking it's a bite. So I've got to I've got to check it. But I can live with it. It's not too bad. So. So far, two fish. Get in there. Menteith Pike. It's the theatre of dreams. Not that one, this one. That's the theatre of nightmares. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Let's see if we can get back to it. Like I say, it's, uh, I'm using the, the king crab stuff. And it seems to be working. Trout. I think that might have been a trout that. Oh, got my heart going no. <laughs> though. Yes. It's another good one. Don't want to get it near that anchor rope. It's going for it, isn't it? See what size we're dealing with first. That's not bad. That blood's off me by the way. <laughs> but yeah. Belter, get in there. Right. Give me away as soon as he knows his bearings. Or her. <laughs> get in. Yes! 
Look at the state of that. Oh, tagged me. Big time. Right, though, I'll get that cleaned up, get it sorted. Tell you, if you ever want to come pike fishing, these are the conditions that you want. Just look at that. It's perfect. I get a new battery in this. Look at them conditions. It don't get much better than that. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing bad top so far. Not tagged though. <laughs> That'll be right. <clears throat> uh, three fish so far. That's not bad going. That, and it's. Uh, it's just gone dinner time. There's plenty of time left. Let me get another battery in this. I need to sit tight here, I think, because I think this is this is an area that could do a good fish this. It's just on the edge of a point. What I've noticed is that you know most of people when they come, they all fish in front of that island there. So I think that gets a bit of hammer over there, so I thought I'll uh, over there as well, that area where I fished before. So I thought I'd try a different spot. It seems to be paying off, so I think I'm going to sit tight here. Hope, hopefully one of these floats goes and it'll be, it'll be a big one, <laughs> because there's every chance. Yes, get in. Oh, way up. Aye, aye. Just gonna let this do its thing out there. Tire it out, hopefully. <laughs> but you don't want them going right anchor rope. Which is where it's trying to go. If I can keep it there, it'd be fine. Way. Yeah, come on, come up. Up you come. That's the way. Oh, some power, bloody hell. It's not a big fish neither. It's then not a big fish, it's not a bad one. Fresh bait. Wow. Hope I'm getting this. <laughs> oh, get away from that rope. the trace. All right kid, calm down, calm down. Oh yes! <laughs> nice pike. It's gonna jump. There you go. That's what Mentif's all about, things like that. Kill that fish. <sighs> nice fish that. Just 
just hold on to it, it'll go in time. There it goes. Boom! Oh, oh, oh. yes! Get in there! Yes! Happy, happy with that. What a belter. <laughs> right, I've got bait back in. That's fish number four. I've just got two things to say that I think personally, and it's just my view, two things that have helped me to catch today. I mean, I've been on right bait for a start off. And I think what it is, I think it, the Predator Pursuits Terminal Tackle Traces, they're absolutely brilliant. These trace, traces, the get a beating in, in this place. I mean, you've seen the fish there, they go absolutely ballistic, round boat, in net, and traces straight as a die. And other thing I think, and it's just my personal opinion, one tone tackles king crab. I've been putting it, juicing them up with that. And they love it. They absolutely love it. So, like I say, it's not everybody's cup of tea. People say, oh, the juices, they don't work, and blah de blah. But proof's in fishing, in it, in my opinion. So, Maybe give them a try, one tone tackle, get in touch with them, king crab. You only need to put a little bit in it. It's just that little bit, you know. What's that, two mil? Two mil in a bit. Keep going, see if we can get another. But if not, I'm happy with that. We're getting towards end of day now. So. But to have four men teeth pike, you know what I mean? You can't complain at that, can you? Yeah, I know they've not been massive, but really, really bonny fish, aggressive fish as well. Love it, absolutely love it. Whoa! It's a scrapper. Number five. <laughs> oh, I just up to that. I need to get this one in net. It's only up to one treble. Whoa. Yes, get in there. A quick look at you, and then you're going back. Look at that. Colours, colours on that fish. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Right, let's get him back. Look at that, <laughs> beauty. Go on now. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Who cares?
chairs. <laughs> yes! 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 Oh. Oh, get in there. This is why we do it. Oh, it's absolutely sucked me. Fish number five. That's oh, why we do it, innit? Don't you? You just love it, don't you? You know what I mean? It keeps you coming back for more. Look at Stalis. <laughs> oh. Not a bad sesh. <laughs> Feels a bit weird talking to a camera when there's all this lot about. But I'm just gonna say it now. What a session. And thanks for thanks for joining me guys. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and all that stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. So till next time, tight lines.